So hi everyone, it's the Arctic Rider here. Um, so basically yesterday I went out to go and do a uh, vlog on the way to doing some filming and uh, the mount of my GoPro seemed to move slightly in the wind and I got about 30 minutes of um, of tarmac footage. Now I was just gonna, gonna kind of dump it um, and not bother doing it but a few of you guys on Twitter and Mrs. Arctic Ride uh, said I should try and make the most out of the footage. Um, so this is what this video is about. Uh, basically uh, yesterday I uh, went to go meet up with a company called Puddle Ducks here in uh, the northeast uh, so they teach um, little kids how to swim including uh, my little girl Isla and I'm partnering with them as part of my Arctic Ride Alaska now if you don't know about my Arctic Ride Alaska uh, make sure you check out this video here and um, that will tell you all about it and um, my latest uh, fundraising motorbike challenge that I'm doing um, uh, this summer uh, but yeah so I went to uh, went to go and see Puddle Ducks to do a photo shoot as part of um, some PR that we're doing um, to raise some uh, much needed funds for Tiny Lives Trust who are one of the charities that I'm uh, raising money for as part of my Arctic Ride Alaska um, and who helped my my little girl Isla who, who now does swimming with Puddle Ducks. Um, so it was really good, uh, really good day. Uh, it's still February, uh, it's still really cold. Um, so I um, I got the bike out, got it all cleaned up, ready for the photo shoot, put the uh, all the boxes on, put it in to touring mode as the bike would be if I'm off doing one of my challenges and then set off over to the Angel of the North um, iconic uh, landmark here in the northeast of England in Newcastle um, to do some some photographs um, with a giant duck now luckily I wasn't doing the uh, in the duck outfit um, but we had a really really fun time and really looking forward to the stuff going to press so we can advertise uh, and get some much needed funds raised for a tiny lives trust so here's the video anyway uh, check it out and let me know what you think Hi everyone, it's the Arctic Rider here on a cool but sunny uh, February morning here in the northeast of England uh, and I'm just on my way to the Angel of the North um, to do a photo shoot with one of uh, one of my corporate partners, um, a company called Puddle Ducks who do, um, do kids swimming classes. Uh, they're supporting me as part of my Arctic Rider Alaska and they also um, helped me out with my Iron Butt Challenge I did in, in 2016. Um, basically every every term that they have they they for the children that they um, have swimming in their classes they do like a, a kind of charity week where they raise money for charity and uh, for the one next month they've chosen Tiny Lives Trust um, with the Arctic Rider to do some fundraising so we're gonna go and do a photo shoot with a big um, a big duck costume which they've got I'm not gonna be wearing the costume but someone else will um, and uh, hopefully just raise the profile of uh, of their uh, their fundraising and uh, and what I'm doing as well. Um, so this morning uh, got the bike out, uh, got it a little bit clean for the photo shoot, uh, put the uh, the boxes on as though I would be going away doing a big trip. And I'm just heading down the A1 now to the Angel of the North, which is only kind of 50 miles from where I live, uh, to do these photos. And it's great really because it's part of my uh, my fundraising. You know, I do these big trips like my uh, my Norway trip um, to Arctic Norway, links in the description, and uh, my Iron Butt uh, in 2016, link in the description also. Um, but as part of that, not only to ask um, the kind uh, general public to uh, to make donations, uh, also try and link up with uh, with local and national companies um, to kind of help support the burden and help kind of get me out there. Um, and Polo Ducks is just one example. Um, but this year I'm trying to do things differently, so as part of the fundraising for the Alaska trip, I'm also doing a, a charity raffle where um, some companies have given prizes, so Dev Insurance have given away uh, a lovely um, a lovely shark helmet, uh, JNS Accessories gave me a Frank Thomas jacket, Custom Lids gave me an RST uh, jacket, uh, I've got Visor Cat, Jill from Visor Cat um, gave me a Visor Cat um, 
screen wiping system. Uh, Sam Manicum kindly donated uh, some of his Into Africa books, and then also another prize you can uh, you can win the Arctic Rider DVD. So again, I'll put the link up for anyone who wants to uh, to wants to pitch in. It's two pound fifty a ticket. All the money raised goes to Tiny Lives Trust as part of the the Arctic Ride Alaska Fund. But yeah, it, it looked kind of warm uh, this morning. It seemed like it was going to be a nice spring morning, but uh, it is bitterly cold. And as my friend Hans from Norway told me after I went out for a ride, morning it was cold a couple of weeks ago. I thought I was supposed to be the Arctic Rider. <laughs> So this is me really just uh, doing some conditioning for when I'm going to be over in Canada and Alaska in the summer. And I'm really looking forward to it and I think uh, it's going to be such a different experience. Obviously I've ridden in uh, in the UK a lot, I've ridden in Europe a lot, but being on the other side of the world is going to be just a whole new adventure. And no motorways as well, so the plan is to fly into Calgary and ride the bike two and a half thousand miles into Alaska into the Arctic and up the Dalton Highway and back, so 5,000 miles in total, but looking at the maps, not a single mile of that is, uh, is motorway or freeway, which is super exciting, so I'm absolutely sick of riding on motorways. Considering when I went to Arctic Alaska, I had something like 2,000 miles I didn't toll on motorways, which for most of you bikers and, uh, and others out there, I know that isn't super fun. So yeah, I'm just about to get to the Angel of the North to meet up with um, with the Puddle Ducks team to do the photo shoot. And if we get time, we might go down to the Tyne Bridge, another Northeast engineering icon.